What is happening guys? First time Tommy and I are back together training in the gym for a little while. Obviously just back from the Shaw Classic. A huge shout out to Brian Shaw for having us out there, much appreciated. So today we've got some legs to do. Um, safety bar squat. My shoulder is still a little bit um, off so I'm going to be doing more lower body stuff until I get some injections, PRP injections in my shoulder from the blood lab so that'll be good. Um, yeah, excited to get back training with you big boy. You missed me? I missed you. <laughs> I don't think he has. So, as you've probably seen now, we have two different channels now. We've got the Stolten Brothers, which we are concentrating more on training, motivational stuff. On the more Stoltman channel, um, that'll be more of the stupid stuff that we get up to, the whatever else we do, I don't know. Just more stuff that isn't associated with training. So we're going to throw that on. Hopefully you enjoy it, so it'll be nice to split it up. So for all you guys, please go over to subscribe to the More Stoltman channel. Thank you very much. And as always, thank you for buying our merchandise. If you would like to see us, we are going to be at the Arnold Classic. We have got a stand there, Stoltman stand, six by six meter, 36 meters squared. So if you guys want to come down, get your tickets. We will be there. We will be selling merch. So please come down and show your support because we love you all. So we're using the new Metafit safety bar. We've used it a few times before. Um, it's 27 kilos empty. Nice random number. Um, and then we're using the Metafit calibrated plate. So we'll probably go up to, uh, I don't know, around 200 kilos or so. See how it feels for this day. That's fine. That's fine. So the safety bar is a great addition. I really find the safety bar helps with my deadlift crossover. Um, and it also takes a lot of pressure off on your shoulder. So as I've said, my shoulder is pretty sore at the moment. So for me to get under a barbell just isn't a possibility. That's about, you can see that's where I can get my shoulder to, or my hand to at the moment. So it's just not possible. So we've thrown in this, spoke to Dan. Um, and also we're gonna be doing a, Stoltman strength training program, so the Stoltman Academy, so to speak, and that will be coming out very soon. So there'll be loads of tips, loads of interaction on the Stoltman Academy. So make sure you check that out when we release it. It's going to be amazing. <sighs>
Right guys, so that was my first set down the working sets, 187 for free freeze, nothing too uh, heavy or anything today, just uh, getting back into it so nice and uh, nice and comfortable feeling which is good, so yeah buddy. So I kind of tasted it, so 187 felt nice and comfortable as it should, so I put on uh, 207 kilos, so maybe just start at that and see how it feels. As Tom says, this is our first proper session back into things, so trying to get a bit more continuity and back into that routine with our training, uh, which won't be that hard. You know, so far. Over the next couple of weeks, you'll see a lot more training videos from Tom and I. Um, obviously, for any other stuff, to go and check the more stop and YouTube page out. So one of the main reasons why we're, we're starting a different YouTube channel is that we know a lot of you guys tune in here to see specifically our training uh, videos and that's kind of, I guess that's our bread and butter stuff that you guys like to watch. So we saw your comments and a lot of people were commenting about seeing more training videos. So on, this, on the more Stolten YouTube page, we're going to show you more of the, the eating challenges, the collaborations, the stupid stuff that we get up to. And our main channel will be predominantly competitions, training, um, and a little bit of mindset as well. So hope you all enjoy it. Hope you're happy with the decision we made. Please show the support to the More Stolten YouTube page and we will try and do some epic things there. <laughs> I just suggested Tom we do a high rep finisher, so we do 107 kilos with 20 reps, just to get that vascularity in the thighs. Tom's not so keen, but I'll do it and then Tom will do it after, 100%. You're not doing it. Oh Why not? I don't need to. Some say you're scared, Tom. I'm scared. <laughs> scared, bro. It's too late, bro. Sorry, when you do it. Too late. Some say you're scared, bro. Oh, I see that. You're scared, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? 20 reps. I think Z almost, think Z almost did 20 reps with like 340 kilos. Back on World Strongest Man. So it's basically the same thing with 107 kilos on with a mirror, mirror fit safety bar, so it's all relatable, isn't it? Right then. You in, Connor? Got the top? Right, 20 rep challenge. Jeez, that feels heavy for 20 reps. Oh my goodness. Strongest man. Maybe Tom's just smarter. 
I think that's probably what it is. <laughs> One of you guys watching this, tell me 20 rep challenge, 107 kilos. Make it look easier than I just did, please. Restore my faith in my ability to lift weights. Oh my goodness. It's What's like the importance of the accessories in your workout, dude? So, you know, we've got to make sure that we're doing all our accessories because we don't want to have any weak parts of our, our kind of, our, uh, our system. Um, so doing these little accessories, it just allows us to include every muscle group. So you know, when we're doing box jumps, when we're doing hamstring curls, um, leg extensions, hack squat, leg press, um, all these kind of build up the strength in the finer muscles so you know how often do you see when someone tears a hamstring tears a bicep tears a pec and a lot of the time that's down to well a lot of the time it's just down to bad luck but if we can um, prevent that so prevention for me is the best cure the best form of cure so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to prevent any injury um, on our leg muscles so fortunately Tom and I have been quite lucky um, I haven't incurred any big injuries so hopefully that will carry on or probably tear an ass muscle when we do leg press now so we will see So I'm just going to go and jump in the hack squat. I haven't done these in a little while, but just wanting to, as we just said, want to target the legs from all different angles, so I'm going to throw in them. Um, just trying to get a bit more of a pump in my legs. I um, don't know if a lot of you guys know, but I have issues with patellas when I'm pressing, so hopefully doing a little bit more volume stuff will help limit that to not being so sore. Hello mate. What are we doing now bro? It's leg press time. Three sets of eight. Let's go. Four reps. Next up, we have Bulgarian split squats. Oh, 
So just uh, finished the Bulgarian split squats, so we are now going on to do some calf raises. So final couple of exercises we're going to work on some biceps. So we are doing the barbell, um, barbell curls uh, with tens each side for ten reps, three sets of ten. Right guys, last exercise is hammer curls. Three sets of ten. All you need to do is curl it like a hammer, then hit the nail. Curl, hit the nail. Hey. Drop the hammer, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey guys, that is our first session back in a while together done. Nice and pumped, nice and sweaty, nice and rainy in the Highlands. So here we are back. We're going to be training now consistently for the next few months and get back slowly into uh, strongman events and stuff. Stay tuned to see a new warehouse hopefully coming soon as well. Thank you for watching. Go check out more Stokeman. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Oh, please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding.